Hello, welcome to OneWallNursing.com. This is my YouTube page and I am a nursing student. My name is Priscilla and today we'll be learning about polyhydramnios. There it is. As expected, polyhydramnios is basically excess amount of amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus. The normal amount is at 10 weeks you want about 10 or 30 milliliters of amniotic fluid and at about 37 weeks gestation you want about 800 900 max one liter of amniotic fluid these are women that have too much amniotic fluids and that can cause for um, fetal damage as uh, when when they give birth this is a really cool picture and let me stay on this for a minute and um this occurs with women that are high-risk pregnancy, such as multiple births, twins, and um, diabetic women. This can be passed on generationally. You can inherit it from your mother. Um, so we just want to be careful with people that are predisposed, especially diabetic women. They're at 10% increase or 10% risk for having um, polyhydramnios. Um, so what are we what are we going to be seeing with infants or fetuses with polyhydramnios? You're going to be seeing infants that have spinal bifida, which is basically let me show you a picture of it. Spinal bifida is outpouching of the um, spinal cord and its fluids, and it can be it varies from very little to uh, worse. So sorry, that's a really bad explanation about it. <laughs> but we're learning about polyhydramnios. And another disposition that um, excess um, excess amniotic fluid can lead to is what's it called? Um, hyper no. Oh, any aniocephaly and that's basically being born without a brain sorry I didn't give you guys an advantage and advance to that and that's being born without a brain and we all know if you are born without a brain you will not survive and this is what happens to women that um, that aren't treated when they have this disorder um, so You'll see the manifestations that the women will come in with is a huge stomach. Their bellies would be larger than the average woman. And those you'll see, they'll have complained of tightening around difficulty moving. Um, they'll have a tight skin and they'll have basically low urine. Um, and you would expect it, you would expect women to have a lot of urine, especially if you have excess uh, fluids within your within the uh, surrounding the fetus, but it's just um, too much, and they'll complain of pain and um, various amounts of cramping. This can be treated by giving medications. Um, the the of course you can take out the uh, fluids. Um, yeah, you can see here. You can take the fluids. This is a medication, endocephian. Um, you don't want to give that medication past 30 weeks or 30, yeah, 30 weeks, and that it could affect the child's heart rate, and it's um, it could affect the child severely after that amount of time. Anyways, I just want to keep these videos really short. And again, high, uh, poly polyhydrocephaly is excess fluid surrounding the fetus during pregnancy. Thank you very much. Have a great day.